Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you are watching me from. Um, I'm Black Bright. I'm born in the UK of Jamaican parents. Spent some time in the United States, some time in Jamaica, some time in Africa, and I'm back in the UK. And I've been back here for about nearly 20 years now. Time really flies. Came back in 2000. So, um, I've been vlogging since 2018. And um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with my subscribers and the topics. I think I feel as though I'm feeling my way. Now, anytime I get a video um, that's sent to me more than two times, I tend to have, I, I tend to review it because what happens is, is that I get so many videos and I think, oh, it's not really what I want to talk about. And then I, if I get it twice, I'll, I'll kind of think, oh, well, that person sent it to me. But when I get it more than two times, I think there's a message in the video that I need to share with others. And I also um, like to know what it's there to teach me. Now, the video I'm about to show you has got a lot of profanities in it. And that is what turns me off. When I first looked at it, I thought, oh, I can't deal with this. So much swearing. What is it teaching me? But then, um, after watching it a couple of times, I realised that it was about tolerance. I don't have much tolerance for bad language. It really grates me. And it was about acceptance. You know, accepting that people are different, except that people are in pain. And watching the transition of this man move from being really really angry to a point where he just changed and I'd like you to kind of know what made him change and then after you've watched it see if it's a see if you've reached the same conclusion that I've reached okay Side of you is telling you that something we're saying is true. That's why you can't walk on by. You know it, and that's why you're angry. Something is touching at your heart. You know the truth, and the truth will set you free. If you accept the truth, it'll set you free. I don't know what you've been through. You may have been traumatized. Okay, I don't know what you've been through. But you know where God is? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. He wants to reach out to you. He wants to make a message out of your mess. He wants to change you and use you. He wants to do. Listen, I was in jail many times. You're not talking to some punk. 
I was a thug on the street just like you. I went through a lot of stuff just like you. So don't think you're talking to some punk on the street. You're talking to someone just like you, but God set me free. I don't know. I don't know streets. I know streets, but God set me free from the streets. I don't think I don't know problems. I had much problems. I had a broken family. I was all over the place doing drugs and alcohol with a bunch of women, but God set me free. All of us. He was an ex-homosexual. He was an ex-homosexual. I went through much stuff, but God took my mess and made it into a message of God. You can for free. There's hope for your life, brother. We're not, here, we're not here because we hate you. We're here because God loves you, man. You're a somebody. You're a somebody. You need to know that today. Why don't you just receive the love? I don't know what you've been through, but receive the love, man. I suck, but God loves you, man. Listen to me, my name's Dave. Yeah, that was heavy going. But what was important for me? Well, the first thing I didn't like, I didn't like the fact that he was condemning him and saying he was going to hell because he was cursing and because he was angry. I didn't like that part because I thought to myself, who are you to tell him where he's going? But that aside, I just was amazed at you know, all the condemnation and all the other talking didn't make a difference to that man. But you know what made a difference? I don't know if you noticed it, is when he had empathy, when he said he grew up in care, when he said he was on the streets, when he said he was in prison, when he said he came from a broken family, when he said he had problems. A lot of people, when they see people um, preaching on the street or preaching anywhere, they always kind of believe that they're holier than thou. They, they kind of feel as though these people are preaching to them are perfect. And then, you know, when they realise that they're not perfect, that they have come from a damaged or broken background, they can kind of empathise with them. That's what happened. That's what that's what got me. The fact that when he acknowledged that, okay, yeah, I'm preaching the word of God, but I've been through what you may have been through. You know, I'm a thug just like you. I don't know if that was uh, a, a, an assumption or what, but the fact of the matter is there was something in what he said at that point that switched the dynamics and quieten that man down, and that man then was able to become less hostile, and he just completely changed. So, what? I, why? The reason why I'm showing you that is that we go around judging people because of their actions. Like me, even me, I always think when people are going around angry and cursing, I'm always saying, "What's wrong with them? Why can't they just speak properly?" But it's because they're hurting, it's because they're in pain, it's because they can't express themselves any other way. And they use profanities as a cover-up for that pain, for that, you know, for whatever is going on inside them. I'm not going to say they're demons because I don't believe in all that stuff. And I think people exploit that. And remember, those people that died because they drank jick, that bleach, because they were supposed to wash out those demons so to speak, and they all ended up dying. So I don't believe that there's demons in you. I believe that people have pain. I believe that people have trauma. I believe that people have had experiences they don't know how to handle, and they express it in different ways. And the way to kind of reach out to people like that is to empathize, is to show them that you understand, not stand on your high horse and say, oh yeah, I'm this and I'm that. It's when you start coming from the place where they are at. It's trying to reach that place where they are at. Talk in their language. Not It doesn't have to be cursing, but the fact that he had been through all of the pain that that man had been through and come out on the other side, that is what was important for me. And I hope that, you know, when you, as you approach the new year, that when you see people who are not behaving in a way that you like or in a way that you deem appropriate, that you can kind of look beyond that to their pain and ask yourself, I wonder what I can do. I wonder how I can empathise with that person. I wonder if I can make a difference. And that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.